All right, as we brave out the uh, the rains here from uh, Hurricane Florence in North Carolina, I've just been stuck inside all weekend, so I've been trying to get some stuff done. Such a bummer. The uh, the chassis that I ordered, the replacement chassis for the KT88 single-ended amplifier build, uh, showed up dented uh, with a great big dent in the in the side of it. So I don't know if it. You know, the more I look at it, I think it happened before it shipped, like maybe there in the factory or at the warehouse somewhere. Um, at any rate, I've reached out to uh, Antique Electronics Supply to see if I can get another one on the way. In the meantime, I thought I would do just a quick little update here today on the single-ended 807 amp that I built. It's been about six months now since I finished up that video series. And um, I'll tell you, I've been listening to this thing a lot, and it, I can't find anything that sounds better. And... Of course, you know, something you built is always going to sound the best, but this thing's just pretty darn amazing in my book. But, um, you know, I left it in a place where I just wasn't quite done with it, and so I wanted to just do some cosmetic tweaks on it, and I thought I'd show you what that looks like today. But first, I thought I would show you a couple customers' uh, submissions. I've had quite a few people, at least maybe 20 people that I think have attempted to make the build on this thing. And some of them have really good success. Others have struggled a little bit along the way, and I've tried to help them out via email and whatnot as much as I can. Um, I will tell you that a couple of them have completed theirs, and uh, sounds like they're sounding really good. Um, so I thought I'd just show a couple of uh, pictures here. Uh, one of these is from Richard, one of them is from Stephen, and one of them is from Simon. And uh, uh, thanks for sending me the pictures of your amps. If any of you others have uh, made pictures of anything you've built based off of... Uh, Something I showed along the way. Send me pictures and I'll, uh, I'll post them up. Anyway, here are the couple amps. I'll let you look at them. And uh, I think they turned out uh, quite beautiful. And then I'll just uh, take you over and show you the little tweak that I did to mine. All right, here it is. This is the final, final product at this point. Um, if you notice, we put a nice little brass nameplate on this. And um, I, let me zoom in on it and see if you can see it. It looks amazing. Um, I'm really happy with how this nameplate kind of turned out. I, um, I originally tried making one of these myself. I thought, I'm a DIYer, I can do this. I ordered some brass plate, I ordered some ferric chloride, which is an etchant. I tried using a resist of several different types and trying etching this thing. And while I could get the, the lettering over here to kind of turn out okay, I never could get my logo to look worth a darn. Uh, I guess it was just too fine and too small. So I ended up um, finding this place that did just kind of laser etch nameplates and uh, sent them my logo, sent them the text I wanted, and uh, about 20 bucks later shipped to my door. Here is a nice little brass nameplate, but I, I think it, it gave a... Uh, kind of an amazing touch to the amp. It kind of finished it up nicely. It commemorates what it is, and uh, I'm just totally happy with it. So uh, we'll call this video wraps. Thanks for everybody for watching. Uh, I said six months earlier. It's been a year. <laughs> um, actually, it was uh, early last April of 2017 when I finished this thing up, and here we are, you know, September of 2018, and uh, it's been a lot longer than I thought. But this, uh, this amp, uh, these 807 tubes, I'll tell you, I know they're a kind of, some people consider them an earlier version of the 6L6. They're, they're certainly in the 6L6 family. Um, they, it's just an amazing sounding amp. I, I, uh, I highly encourage somebody if they wanted to build one, this might be the one. I will tell you, I put a lot into a little bitty chassis, and so you might want to consider just a slightly larger chassis if you you were to build one, but um, hey, we're building this single-ended KT88 app at this point in time, too. I think it's going to sound great as well, so stay tuned. Thanks, everybody, for watching.